What's up guys? It's Naya. Welcome or welcome back to another video. The study vlogs are back you guys. Tomorrow is going to be my first day of school. I'm a second semester freshman and I'm really really excited to just like go back to school honestly. However, this year is going to be kind of crazy because I'm taking six classes. Not only am I a full-time student, but I also have this YouTube channel. I edit all my videos by myself. I also have a part-time job now. I've never worked before as a student. I've never worked before this year, period. And then of course, most importantly, like I'm literally just a girl who has hobbies and who has a life. I still wanna be an academic weapon, but I wanna be a bit more mentally stable than I was last semester. <laughs> Crazy thing is I actually have work tomorrow first thing in the morning, so I won't even be able to start my classes until like the afternoon. Honestly, I think this is gonna be one of my best semesters. That's what I hope at least because literally the organization stuff, like the work that I put into actually getting myself together, I don't think I've ever done that much before. Um, also there's like, actually, I'm not gonna tell you guys about that yet. We're gonna wait on that little announcement. It's time to do our Bible and like meditation time. It is currently 8.22. The plan for today is go to work, obviously, and then I have to swing by my school to pick up my textbooks because they are ready. The main thing for today that I'm gonna be doing is actually planning and like doing some back to school prep. I was gonna do a whole separate video, but like, so I'm just gonna kind of combine that into my plans for today. Also, the main part of back to school prep for me is usually like, filling out my planner and getting organized and because I didn't even have access to canvas like I couldn't really do what I wanted to do before today but comment down below what you guys did to prepare for back to school let me know how it's been going for y'all so far I'm hoping the semester will be good for all of us I'm really prepared to be an academic weapon like there's no excuses this semester sorry guys this angle is so awkward I have to put on my little watch band but I'm heading off to work now All right guys, I'm back home and it is time to lock in, okay? I took a look at Canvas and I'm now able to see all the classes I'm taking. First up, I'm taking Anthropology 102. And then to go hand in hand with Anthropology, we have the Anthropology Lab, which I am nervous about because I don't do well with lab assignments, but we'll see. Next up, we have History 101, which is just basic like United States history, kind of boring, but it is what it is. Next, we have my State History class. Then we have Philosophy 102, Soci Sociology 207, which I think is intro to sociological theory. And I am excited for this one because obviously you guys know I'm a sociology major. Well, if you didn't know, now you know. I'm gonna quickly change my clothes and then I'm gonna come on here and show you guys how I use Google Sheets to make a spreadsheet of all my assignments and like what I'm going to be doing with my planner as well. The very first thing that I did, and the very first thing you should definitely do, is read your syllabus. I actually took the extra step and printed out physical copies because I am more of a paper and pencil kind of girl, but obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want to. When I got the physical copies, I just went through and highlighted all the important dates such as exam dates and deadlines that I needed to make sure I knew. I think reading through the syllabus is something everyone should do definitely, but also if you want extra points, it could be an opportunity for that because a lot of my professors actually include extra credit assignments within reading the syllabus. 
syllabus. The next tip that I have is honestly the most life-changing one, I promise you. That is to make a Google spreadsheet. I have never used Google Sheets ever in my life and I found that this was really easy to make. Here is a screenshot of mine. Obviously at the time, nothing was checked off, but I kept everything very, very simple. I just have these simple categories, the class name, the assignment name, what type of assignment it is, the due date, and of course the check boxes for whether or not it's completed. I assigned each class a color and it also matched up with the highlighters I used in my planner as well as on my Google Calendar because I'm a little bit extra when it comes to stuff like that. The rows that are grayed out just represent a separation in the weeks. So obviously you can see the very last assignment that was due on September 1st is the end of week one and then you go into week two. Guys, I'm trying to fix this lighting. The sun's starting to go down, so... Okay, so I have finished the entire spreadsheet for the week. I was going to outline the whole month, but I decided to hold off on that because I want to, one, see how this week goes, and then two, I want to make sure that this layout is actually going to work for me. I don't want to spend a lot of time making a whole layout for the entire month of September just to like have to change a lot of stuff around if it doesn't work out. Just looking through Canvas, I started to feel not overwhelmed, but just like, wow, this is a lot of stuff because all my professors have canvas laid out in a different way everyone has their own style if you use canvas you know how chaotic it can get and when each professor lays things out differently like it's a lot so using my own format is super helpful because i know how my brain works my brain does not work like how other professors or other students brains work so this is just easier for me It is currently 8 44 and i'm literally so tired <laughs> i did a total of five assignments so like really good honestly to be fair most of it was just like introduction or syllabus quiz like it was all kind of the same six classes is a lot but i don't feel overwhelmed yet however i did find out that two of my classes are actually condensed classes so they're only eight weeks long but that was the only class they had available and i kind of had to take it this semester so i am nervous about that because if you don't know like condensed classes it's literally like an entire semester's worth of course stuff just smashed into like eight weeks sometimes it's four weeks which is crazy final thoughts on the day like if i had to rate it out of 10 i would say it's been a seven out of 10. tomorrow i will reconvene with y'all and kind of go over like more about how i'm setting up my school year and like blah blah blah, blah. i don't know i'm so tired okay good night bye I'm done for the day. I have technically finished everything I needed to finish, but I think I'm actually going to do a little bit of extra work for my anthro class because I literally only have two more assignments and turns out that class is not as hard as I thought. The longest part was honestly taking the notes because I'm a very slow writer, unfortunately. So yeah, I would say it's been a really good day. It's currently 6 p.m. So I've been working for about three hours, but I literally finished one two seven eight nine assignments today after i finish my last two anthropology assignments i only have four more oh wait no wait i forgot to cross off two more that's so good i'm actually way further ahead than i thought
Decluttering electronics is such an underrated part of back to school prep, but it's the first thing that I did the next day. I went through specifically good notes and deleted all of my old notebooks that I had because I literally had some from freshman year of high school, which is so crazy. I also took the time to customize my notebook covers in good notes. I have a whole Pinterest board dedicated to this, so if you're interested, you can definitely check out my Pinterest account. I also decided to change the wallpapers up on my iPad and just make it a little bit cuter because I have had the same theme for the past couple of years and I was kind of getting tired of it. This is the final product. I think it's really cute. It's extremely simple, but if you guys haven't noticed by now, that's my favorite sort of aesthetic. Today has been a little bit rough so far, I'm going to be honest. It's been like a good day, but I'm having some trouble focusing on like getting my work done. All I have left are a history assignment and my sociology assignment, and both of them are taking a lot of time because there's so much to read. So I've just been kind of like staring at the words and like not really comprehending anything like even though it's easy to understand like i'm just struggling a little bit going through days like this is kind of difficult because it's so hard to like push through just like the lack of motivation and everything and i don't even feel overwhelmed yet like i just feel like i don't want to do the work so Hi guys, it is the next day. It's currently 12.47 and I'm just now starting on all of my work for the day. Yesterday was definitely kind of weird because I did not actually do any school. It looks like I'll be reading like 100 to 200 pages a week. It's not something I'm used to at all because last semester we didn't have that many things to read and also I only had four classes. So yesterday I basically ended up like doing some YouTube stuff because that is something I am prioritizing this semester and then I also had to like fill out some forms and what not for college so it wasn't like a flop of a day but i just didn't do school but i was ahead of schedule anyway so there really wasn't like a press for me to actually do any work but that's enough talking i'm literally just gonna put on my headphones and work like no breaks we're gonna try to get this done within three hours Good morning, you guys. Let's go to the gym. My gym workout was so brutal this day because I ended up getting like really sick and really nauseous towards the end. Also, I just hate working out. So yeah, here are my little 10 pound weights because at the end of the day, I am just a girl. And then later that day, I had to go to work. So here's a little OOTD that I filmed for YouTube shorts as well as Instagram. And then after work, my sister and I went to the mall because I had to pick up some jeans that I got from Hollister. And this is us just kind of like walking around. I found these super cute dresses, but they were like really expensive, so I didn't get them. Also, I'm obsessed with these shoes right now. The color is everything. I didn't get them, but I think I'm going to have to go back. Hi guys, I am back home and we honestly did not get that many things. I literally only got my pickup order from Hollister and I wanted to show you guys what I got as well as some clothes that I was gifted because it is all super duper cute and I'm so excited for you guys to see. Here they are. My favorite wash is light wash. So of course, for reference, I am five eight and a half or like five eight and a quarter. And then I got these in a 2L. I do want to thank Alfred Eden for sending me some clothes and gifting them to me to share with you guys because they are literally the cutest. And we are finally moving into the cold weather, into the fall season. And so I got a bunch of hoodies and pants that I'm like so excited about. I do have a discount code right here on the screen. So if you guys see anything that you like, definitely Definitely check them out. I'm so grateful for this opportunity and yeah, let's roll the clips. So first up, we have this cutie little pink hoodie. I'm obsessed with the color and it has like a bleach stain pattern, which I love. Very mindful, very... Next up is this cute little cream hoodie. I love the stitching pattern and the texture of it. It's also lined with fleece, which is going to be amazing once it gets cold. This hoodie is really simple, but I love it because you can just throw it on. It has the words on the back and it's just such a cute color. I love pink and blue. Next up, we have this hoodie 
I love the color. It's going to be absolutely perfect for fall. It is so soft and cozy. And then we have these cute jeans. I love them. To be honest, they are not like super long on me because I am really tall, but I definitely could have sized up for a longer fit. I also got this pair in black, of course. These are really light wash and I think they're so cute. And lastly, we have the cutest shoes ever. I actually wore these in the OOTD that you guys saw and I got so many compliments from y'all. They're my favorite thing, I think, in this whole collection. And that's everything, you guys. I want to thank Alfred Eden again for sending me all those clothes. I am so grateful. The website and links to all the clothes that I got will be down below in my description box. So yeah, if you're interested, definitely use my code as well for some money off. And that brings us to the end of the video. My very first week of freshman year, second semester. What a, what a mouthful. Let me know how school has been going for you guys. If you've started, I hope you're having an amazing, super duper great year. But that's all for me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next